means in the spiritual worship. Amen. You're going to understand, brothers and sisters, that the Holy Spirit is breathing upon us this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. His words and inspiration, His word that He's breathing upon us, that we can be quickened in the Spirit and be alive in yes. the Spirit. That we may grow, that we may increase to where He wants us to be. This isn't about natural thing. This is about the supernatural thing. Because the natural man, the natural mind can never understand yeah. the things of God. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. This is worship him for a while. Tell me you love him. Uh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I give you the glory. I give you the praise, Lord. Yeah. I thank you because it's all about you. Yes. It's all about you that yes. you brought us together that we may become a family again to understand one another, Lord. Hallelujah. Because strive is made from man, not God. But your love draws us to you, Father God, this afternoon. Yes, hallelujah. We just worship you and praise you, Lord yes. God, for any love that you have given us, for each and every one of us that we can share. Yes. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I sing praises to your name, oh Lord. I sing praises to your name, O Lord, for your name is greatly and greatly to be praised. Yes. I sing praises to your name, O Lord, sing praises to your name, O Lord, for your name is greatly, greatly
to trust in Him. Yes. Because we, be, we, we need more of man than God. Yes, hallelujah. The time I was when I was taking care of my dad, I lean onto my dad and he supplied my ACs, I supply everything that I want. Yes. But one day, the Lord took my dad home, even though I was holding on to him. But the Lord said, I'm ready to take him, take him. And I had to turn loose as him to go. Because God was going to do something in my life. Yeah. He was going to bring me to that next level I came to understand. He wanted more of me. And I wanted to be, I needed to decrease. And he needed to be increased yeah. more into my life. Yeah. That's what the word is saying. That's what the word, the spirit of the Lord is saying. Repair. Yes. The message came through and says, repair. Yes. To the next level that you're going to go to. Yes. And then it's like to share from um, Hosea 4 and 6. Amen. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yep. Yes. Because they had rejected the knowledge, I will also reject it. Amen. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they had rejected knowledge. Yes. I will also reject them. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priests to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the laws of the Lord, yeah. I will also forget thy children. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. That is a powerful word. Yes. When we begin to reject the word of God and what the Spirit is moving in your midst, you begin not to receive it. Even he's going to reject you, your children will be rejected. Uh huh. When we began to enter into that realm where the Lord wants us to be, moving in, our children is going to follow in. Yes, hallelujah. Our children is going to be what we need to get. You know, there was a message that came out that we need to get our life in order. Yes, hallelujah. With God. Yes. We need to get our, our life in order that God will move about us. We are the one, the parent. We need to be obedient to the word of God. Yes. We need to be obedient to what God is saying. Yes. What he's saying today. That's right. Mm -hmm. We just don't neglect and reject the word. It says when I, in, in uh, uh, Mark 16, when you read about when Jesus came back, when he resurrected again, he revealed himself to, the, to Mary. And then she went and ran and told the disciple, it says that the disciple believed not. Come on, amen. That's right. And he even went on and told the two men that were walking. Mm -hmm. And they didn't believe not. That's right. These are her disciples that followed Jesus. And everything, he still saw the miracle, but they never did understand that they were, he was going to be risen in the three days. But he came back and they believed not. It says that when yeah. Jesus was in the midst of them, he said, why have you not believed? Why have you hardened your heart? Yeah. So when you stop believing and not receiving what God is giving you, your heart becomes hardened because of unbelief. Sometimes we need to, we think I'm going to be saved, I'm going to come to the Lord until I see something done. Mm -hmm. It's the other way around. Yeah. Hey. Believe and it shall be done to you. Yeah. Hey. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to um, Philippians. Here is talking about Paul. Philippians chapter 3, verse um, 12. He says that, not that I have already attained it or am already perfect, 
But I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me. Yeah. Brethren, I did not call myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things yeah. which are ahead. Yeah. I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward calling yeah. of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us as many as are mature have this mind that if anything you seek otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Yeah. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Paul was saying, I don't have it all. Yes. I'm not perfect. I'm not mature yet. But I press on. Yes, for what God has called me to. Yes, what Christ has led his life for me. Yes. What Christ has for me. That I do not call myself to apprehend. But one thing that I do. Forgetting those things that are behind but reaching for the things which are before. This can be a hindrance. A lot of us, this is a hindrance to our lives is we live in the past. Yeah? Amen. Even though in worship, we live in the past. Amen. I've been lonely in denomination uh -huh. that helped me in the past. Amen. Religion helped me in the past. Yes. Is that one day I got tired of it. Yes. I got tired of it because uh -huh. there was one thing that happened that nothing was moving. Uh huh. I just heard about it, but the demonstration wasn't there. Amen. So I started praying. I said, Lord, this. I said, What is all in this, Lord? I want to see you move. Yes. Yeah. Teach me, Holy Spirit. Bring me to that place. And there I understood this is na not natural. Because natural corner mind cannot receive the things of God. You had to be a separate natural. I had to change. I had to change everything, the junk that was in my life, every hindrance that I had to get yeah. rid of. Hallelujah. That the flesh like to hold on to. Yes. That can hinder you. Unforgiveness can hinder you. A lot of people hold on to unforgiveness. Yes. Because nothing is happening. But we hold on to unforgiveness. Yes. The herbs and the pain that we still hold on to of yesterday, we hold on to. Yes. But here Paul is saying that I press on. Yes. Forgetting those things that are behind. Yes, hallelujah. Because hurt, if we stay in our hurt and we don't forgive, it will give us the root of bitterness and we will be yes. resentful. Yeah. Amen. That's yes. what it's going to bring into our life. Instead of growing in the spiritual things of God, growing into the righteousness of God. Yes, Lord. Learning to grow. We come from a baby step stage to perfection to a maturity. Yes, Lord. In Christ Jesus. Yes, Some of us we come so far, but we never grow up. What does God want to do in our life? Yes. Let us surrender this afternoon, brothers and sisters. Yes, hallelujah. Let him have his way in your life. Yes. Just surrender to him. Yes. Forget about the past. Yes, Paul was saying, I'll forget the past. Yes. So this one thing that I do is to forget the past. Which are behind and reaching forward to those which are ahead. Yes. You have not seen what God has planned for each and every one yes. of us. There are so many things that God will reveal to you. The scale will begin to fall off your eyes. Yes, Lord. Your ears will begin to hear the voice of God. Yes. Hallelujah. What He wants. 
It's not going to be your way, but his way. Yes, hallelujah. If you're not going to be in charge, man, without God is selfish. Yes. Announce the natural man is selfish. Yes, Jesus. Yes. But sometimes we want to stay. We want to hold back. We say, no, God, I don't want you to touch this part. You can have it, but this part is mine. That is our pet sin. Come on. That's why we can't walk on. We can't walk where God wants us to be. Yes. Amen. My sister was telling me there was a minister <laughs> preaching the word of God. <laughs> He said, he came up to the pulpit. He said, how much do you believe the word of God? He said, tear those out that you don't want to believe. Now, come on. He said, take your Bible and tear them out which you don't want to believe. <laughs> and he said, he started tearing the cover off the Bible. Come on. <laughs> he said, he only had the cover. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. So that's the way it is, but we reject God. Yes. Because His word says that I will reject even your children. Uh huh. Because you're disobedient. You're out of order. You need to come yes. into order with God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. He had to start with me. He had to start with me for my brothers and sisters. Uh huh. He had to start with me. And this afternoon, whatever your hindrance is, bring it to Jesus. Get to know who Jesus is. Yes. We can know the name. Everybody knows the name. Everybody knows Jesus, Jesus. And we can say Jesus. But there is power in that name. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen, amen. We're all, when we say we're filled with the Holy Spirit, sometimes we limit God. Yes. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. We limit God. Yes. We talk about Him. In church, we talk about Him. At cat meeting, do we trust Him as soon as we go out the door? Yes, Lord. Oh, help us, Jesus. This is a 24-7. Help, help, help us, Lord. Can you give your life to the Lord? Help us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Here he says, I press towards the goal for the prizes of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. The high calling of your life. He wants you all. At this time, at this hour, the Spirit of the Lord is moving. Yes. The angels are in, in attention. Yes, they are. The Spirit of the that we don't see is moving. Yes. But we begin to see what God is doing. Yes. By just hearing the Word of God, and you begin to picture it. Yes. Picture it upon your life. Hallelujah. There was a man of God that told me one day to read the word and study the word for yourself. Yes. And Hallelujah. Grow in the word for yourself just because you're a minister. Don't study just to preach. Yes. Hallelujah. But read that word and read the word because yes. it's a fresh manna. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Just like in the wilderness when God gave them fresh manna from above. Wow. And every morning they would pick it up at a certain time, yes. at a certain hour. And none of them was feeble. Amen. He said they wore their shoes the forty. Uh, uh, 40 years in the wilderness. <laughs> and here we have that fresh manna of the word of God. But we pick up the word of God, that is the fresh manna. Yes, hallelujah. Because the word of God is going to set us free. Yes, it's not going to be one dead thing, but when we read the word of God, in our prayers we don't understand this black and white, when we ask the Holy Spirit, you're the author of the word of God. Yes, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
revealed it to me. I want the revelation of the word. I want the gem and the treasure of the word of God. That he can speak to me. That he can change me. That he can mold me to where you want me to be in righteousness with you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And when we don't read the word, it's just like we're weak. Yes. The word of God is a weapon. Yes, it is. It's a sword. Yes, it is. A lot of times, this is our bread. Yes. It can even heal my body. Amen. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. It's cleansing me. Yes, hallelujah. By just reading the word of God. Amen. Abide in me, I'll abide in you. The word will abide in you. And the word is going to set you free. Yes. Everything that you have today. Because we hold on to the things of the past. Sometimes we're shameful for the things that we have done. Yes. Or the facts lady that we have done and the devil is back comes to your mind begins to speak to you. Yes. That you're on you're not worthy. That's why we hold on, we just hold on and sit back when the power and the movement of the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Lord is moving. We don't want to present it there. We don't want to be free. That's why we stay in that stage day after year after year. Yes. We see the same old song. We talk about the same old uh, testimony, but there's more testimony for us ahead that God is going to give us. We're not going to talk about the things that have been done 10 years ago, 5 years ago, but God is going to give you a fresh one every day that you're going to share your testimony. You're going to be a witness that they will see that God is real. Amen. God wants to bring you to a place. Yes. To a place of his kingdom. Yes. Yes. In the kingdom. Jesus. He's going to be our king. Yes, he is. On earth. Amen. The spiritual realm. Yes. This is what this is what the, the Jews, the Israel, that Jesus came to his to them never understood. Yes, amen. They never heard it. Yes. And today, the word comes to us. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to implant it into our heart, implant yes. it into our spirit. Yes. When I hear a word, I always put it, I take a notebook. Mm. Come on. It takes me a month. To just keep reading it, reading it, reading it, until it's been planted into my spirit. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes we just receive it, and you think we I had it, and we just go on our way. But when you receive it, you have to meditate up on it. Amen. What are you saying to me, Lord? Hallelujah. It's not for that person, it's not for that person, but me. Yes. You're speaking to me every time the word of God opens. Reveal it to me, Holy Spirit. Yes. Let me receive the revelation of what you're saying to me. Yes. Maybe I'll be, I'll be uh, missing my step or maybe I'm, I'm going the other direction. Yes. But this is not only a one day thing. Yes. Amen. But this is an everyday thing. Every yes. day. Hallelujah. Every day that you walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. There's always something fresh. <clears throat> There's always something new yes. that the Lord reveals to you. Yes. He wants to talk to you. Yes. He wants to commune with you. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. So let us not be ignorant yes, about the word of God. Yes, mm. Lord. Let us receive it. <laughs> it's a privilege yes. to hear the word of God. Yes. 
Some people don't have the privilege. Yes, Lord. In the other yes. part of the world, they don't have the privilege. Yes, They're down in jail for the word of God. Yes. They, can't have, they can't even have the Bible in the open. Yes, hallelujah. They have to be put in jail because we, now we have the privilege. Yes, hallelujah. And God is speaking to us yes. every night and every afternoon. He said, come to me. Yes. Come to me, come to me. Yes, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let nothing hold you back. Yes. Forget those things that are behind and reach for the things that Christ has for you today. Amen. Hallelujah. I press towards the goal for the prize of the outward call of God in Christ Jesus. Here Paul was saying, praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So I'm pressing onward. Yes, hallelujah. I'm forgetting those things I have learned, everything that I have received as I was grown up. Uh-huh. Come on. Here he said in um, Philippians 3, Finally, my brother, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same thing to you is not this, but for you it say, beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation, for we are the circumcised who worship God in the spirit. Yes, Rejoice in Christ Jesus, have no confidence in the flesh. Yes, so I also might have confidence in the flesh. If anyone else think he may have confidence in the flesh, I'm more so. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew, of the Hebrews, concerning the law, a Pharisee, yes. concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blamelessly. Yes. But, but what thing were gained to me, those I had counted lost for yes, time. Hallelujah. Yet indeed I also call, yes. call all things lost. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my yes. Lord, Hallelujah. for whom I have suffered the loss of yes. all things, yes. and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. Yes. 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 There is a growth in our life. Where at first, when you began to read about Paul, he was more like in the flesh and selfish, and he came to a maturity where everything that he had was nothing. Amen. 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 Everything was God. Everything was about God. Yeah, come on. You have to grow. You have to grow in the Word of God. Yes, Lord. You have to come to that perfectionist that is maturity. Yes, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Amen. There's a lot of things that I didn't understand. Even though I ministered the Word of God, mm -hmm. I didn't like titles. Come on. I didn't like titles, and sometimes my sister would gather me, Sister Venus uh -huh. and Brother Hutchinson, <laughs> ministered the word, Amen. the powerful ministry. Amen. And I understood where I stood. I'm a pastor, I'm an evangelist, yeah. and God revealed to me Amen. the apostle. Yeah. Shit is going to come up on you. The mental. Uh huh. I didn't, even though God uses me in different ways. Yes. I never did accept titleship. Come on. But now, this is what Brother Husky was saying. It's, come on. It's what God wants you to be. And Sister Venus would give me a spanking about it. <laughs> that God is honoring you in this. Why are you rebelling against God? Amen. I would say I was nothing. Uh -huh, too. But one day I knew what I was in Christ. Yeah, I, was. Yeah. I thank the Lord this afternoon. 
that we need to press on. Yes, hallelujah. That we need to go forward. Yes. Just yes. like Paul was saying, yes. I forgot I forget the ground I uh, cover in the race. I cannot waste time over the past. Yes. I reach forward to that which is before me in the race. Yes. I strain every nerve and muscles and use every ounce of my strength to yes. win. My future my future depend upon it. I'm running for my life. Yes. I press towards the mark that is I pursue the white line in the steady of uh, uh, which uh, all the runners must keep their eyes fixed lest I be disqualified for the prize. Yes. Yes. Who wants to run that race? Yes. Where in the race, brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes. Where in the race, friends and all brothers and sisters? Yes. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yes. When you began to run, run that race. Yes, Lord. Because a runner, you have to learn how to be a runner. Uh huh. Yes. You have to go through a lot of things to be a runner, to achieve oh, the yeah. goal. Yes. In the spiritual life, we have to learn how to be disciplined. In a lot of things, we have to learn how to walk before God. We have to learn who we are in Christ Jesus. Yes. So we run, we're not going to fall behind, but we're going to run yes. to win. We want to win this race. We need to win this race, brothers and sisters. Yes. You're yes. on the race, and you need to win it. Yes. To get those things which are behind but reaching for the things that are before. Yes, hallelujah. Forget what you did, forget oh, what you have heard that have brought you down, but continue on to receive the things that God is speaking to you about. Yes. He brings it to us so simple, brother and sister. Yes. But we began to picture it, but we began to picture that dream and that vision that's in us, and we began to walk with the Holy Spirit. Yes. And he's going to bring us all the way yes. to the top of the sky and the top of the sea of Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're going to win this race, brother yes. and sister. That's right. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let the past go. Let the past go. Hallelujah. Yesterday. This is a today. Yes. Today is a today. Yes. God talks about today. Number seven, the completion. Today, today, today. Live today. Yes. Enter his rest. Yes. Stop fighting. Yes. Hallelujah. Enter his rest. Yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, it seems that it's us that we struggle so much. Mm-hmm. We struggle to be sad. We struggle to go to church. But when you have entered into that rest, yes. peace. trusting in the Lord with all their heart. Mm-hmm. You'll be in that rest yeah. peacefully. No matter what comes your way, what, what battles and what, what things the devil may try to throw at you, yeah. there will be just like a little stick falling yeah. at you. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You'll be given the glory. You'll be giving him the glory. Yes, hallelujah. You'll be giving the glory. And yes, you have to say, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, yes, forever. Yesterday is the same. Today yes. and forever. He's the same. Jesus that yes. I met. He lives in my heart. Yes. Hallelujah. On the branches. Yes. And he's the vine. And God, the Father, is the gardener. Yes, he is. Yes. And he will begin to grow and be fruitful in the things of the Lord. Yes. And we have to take time. Is to study the word of God. Yes. It's the word of God makes you who He wants you to be. Yes. Yes. Amen. Be teachable. Uh huh. Yes. Be teachable. Yes. That's right. Sometimes I hear people say, "This is a boring life to be a Christian," but it's a fun life. Yes, it is. It's an exciting life. Yes. You see how God is working, how God is moving. Yes. That makes you excited. 
all the time. He makes you are excited all the time. Amen. Not only on the prayer of the Lord, a revival, not only on the Sunday, but all the time, 24-7. Yeah. Every day, the Lord is done with you in your house. Driving down the road, exciting time. No matter what comes your way, you're riding with Jesus, and you're, oh, you're riding with God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Abba Father. Yes. He's the Abba Father. Yes, he is. You become a family. Yes, hallelujah. You become a family. Yes. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're all in the family yes. of God. Amen. Amen. About three weeks ago, I was watching the news of what was happening in the Middle East. Because my niece lives in Oklahoma, up on the Cherokee Nation, and she would call and say, you know, the warning would come, come, come through the, the horn that they are like set up around the area, warning them that the tornado is coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was watching it, I, I, and the newscaster was showing some picture of churches. She was talking about all these beautiful churches were built, but they were all brought down to the uh-huh. to the foundation. There was nothing. Beautiful church. Yeah. Some of them were the co- uh, the cover of it were the roof were torn off, and you could see they had beautiful pews. Uh-huh. Soft pink velveteen uh-huh. pews. And I was sitting there and I asked God, I said, Why is this happening to the church? Amen. Yeah. I said, a storm wouldn't go over a church and the church would stand. Uh-huh. That, you know, that would be seen. And the Spirit of the Lord revealed it to me. And He said, What He said was, the reason why the church are turned upside down, I'm shaking. Uh-huh. Yes. So my people have separated themselves into a beautiful stained glass window. Come on. They got so comfortable. They don't want to reach out to the, the poor. They got so self-righteous. Yes. They don't care about the people that are out there that has a need. Yes, they come together to worship. Yes. They come together and eat. They come together for entertainment. They are appeasing, pleasing the flesh. Yes, yeah. And they go home and they don't even care yes. for people that are out there yes. that Jesus came for. They don't wash their feet. So I'm shaking them that they would wake up. Yes. And the next, uh, the newscast showed was that all these denominations that were there, that had these beautiful church, were coming together yes. in unity to yes. pray for their community. Yes. Coming together to help one another, yes. which yes. they could not do. Yes. Mm. There was a word that came out last month. And he said, there, God is going to bring old dreams and vision that God has given you. Amen. God is bringing them back to you. Yes. The old dreams are coming back. A lot of times we have dreams, we have vision in the church. Yes. We wanted to do something for God, but we died out up there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And God is going to release that new vision. If you can do Step up again to dream again, again to have the vision again of what you were going to do for God. Yeah. There was a vision that I had for my community. Amen. It's coming together to pray yeah. for our nation. Yeah. Because our nation, the community where we live, was a peaceful nation. Everything happened there, the city around, uh, where young people, you know, they were having all of these drug problems and, and shooting and killing, and it wasn't happening in the community. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Come on. And I had 
My vision, my dream was to bring the pastors, the minister together yes. to, to pray together for our community. Yes. This was in the 80s. Where we could come together and pray. So I wrote a letter to every one of them to come to the, a community center, a chapter house, is what we call, to pray. Let's all come together and yeah. pray for the community. Yeah, Let's pray for the, uh, the young people. Yes. Yeah. I sent out letters to every church that was there, even the LDS church, mm. the Catholic church. I invited them. Nobody showed up. Nobody. Only the young people that didn't go to church. <laughs> and only one candidate, none, came in. <laughs> and she read the scripture about uh, second or first Corinthians 13 about the love, love chapter. And she Amen. prayed over us. Yes. She said, I have the heart for the young people. Yes. Then my, my dream just faded away. Because I was so grown in the Lord and and I, I, I kind of got frustrated because nothing happened. And this year, I got up one morning to pray on National Day of Prayer. Amen. Because they were going to take that out, they were, they're not, we were going to observe no more a National Day of Prayer. People weren't doing nothing with national, the National Day of Prayer. Nobody was observing it. Yeah. Just a few people here and there. Pat Robertson. Just a few people oh, that I've seen. Yes. People were forgetting. Gosh. And here the, here the, the people that don't love the Lord. Come on. Jesus. That we will need to take this out. It shall not be observed no more. And there the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. That today, when you get up, I want you to go to every person that I'm going to reveal to you, the yeah. pastors. Come on. So I didn't tell nobody. Because I know if I shared it with my sister or anybody, they always have plans. I, we, I don't think we can do it. You know, plans. People, when they tell somebody, they always have plans. And they try to kill your faith. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Bring yeah, the faith come. down. Yes. So, I said, okay, Lord. You know, sometimes you, you say, probably I'll do it this evening. Come on. Let it go. And the Spirit of the Lord start leading me to these places. And it was in the evening when everybody comes back from work and relaxing and they had their supper. And every one of them were home. Right where I didn't have to go run around here and there and search for them. Everyone was there close by where I was. Okay. They said, okay, we'll do it. So I said, I'm going to put you in every junction from the, the, the open ways, the doors, the open doors from the way to the reservation, to the corners, and back to the end Come of on. our reservation. Yes. Because our reservation started where violence came in. Uh -huh. Crimes. Young people began to kill one another. Shooting issues. Yeah. And one another, uh -huh. young people taking, young men taking out the reservation, young women going out the prison. Uh -huh. Drug, uh, the, 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 the drug dealers, they started coming into our reservation. Come on. Start selling drugs. Gangs were coming. These were never in our community. Because the body of Christ was so busy. There are, there's a lot of tent that goes up, uh -huh. up in the summertime. But they were so busy just having an entertainment. Yes, yes, yes. So busy that they forgot 
about the young people. Yes. One thing that we have on the reservation is the language barrier. Because the older people, they only speak the Navajo language. So every service was done in Navajo language. Uh -huh. And what we, the people, what these people did was they, they taught their children how to talk nothing but English. Yep. So the young people did talk, understand Navajo. Come on. So that when they come to church, they wouldn't receive nothing. They would rather stay out there. Sit in their car, they didn't want to come to church. Yes. They say we're not part of this because it's all done in Navajo. Yes. So I went, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord sent me back. And I had to share, to tell them the strategy that we need to start bringing the Word of God. Yes. Bring the message to them in English. Yes. Because they're coming, but we began to talk and now we get to swap and run out of Come on. the tent. So we need to start preaching the word in English and a lot of them. Just like what I, you know, they said, I'm not changing anything. I'm going to preach the way I'm called to preach. I'm going to talk in Navajo. I'm going to talk in Navajo. So we began, to, it was these all different churches. What God told me was don't bring them together in one building. <laughs> if you bring these ministers in one building, they're not going to agree. Come on. So bring them to the instruction and the barriers and the denominational barrier will begin to fall. Amen. That the community is going to come back together. Because our community, a lot of church stores are being closed because they want one denominational way. They don't want anybody coming in that don't have a license, that don't belong to a church, the, the, the church that they want. Uh-huh. So I asked from, from the end, we came. At, together at 8 in the morning, 9, 10. We started praying, then we went on to the junction, the main junction. Then we went on to the community building. People were coming out that you never thought, yeah. that never came to the house of the Lord. Yeah. People that were way out there, they can't start gathering. And we went as far to... Uh, there's another settlement of people that buy lands and come from the east and from different places and they're more like, oh, these people are not hiding out, they're not fugitive. There are people that are hiding out there, they buy lands and they're the one that provides the drugs and they grow there, they grow there. There are people that are bringing a lot of things that from, from the east that we have never known the, the worship that they do, the new ages and many things, yes. and you know, the way they dress, and some are people that are running from the law, that are hiding out there behind yes. us. But they have a church established up there. Mm -hmm. We all came together to the school, to the marketplace, then we went on to the end of the reservation where it seems that there's nothing out there. There's nobody living out there, but it seems that that place was being blessed. Because there was hardly nobody out there. <laughs> and the power of the Lord, God, yes. His ways. And there was a tent that set up, and every one of that lives in the community came together. Yes. They came to worship, they came to forgive one another. Yes. Church that had uh, something against another church. Amen. They yes. began to forgive one another. There you go. It yes. takes prayer and unity yes. and obedience to what God wants you to do. Mm. Yes. 
Never take anything in your own hand, but trust the Lord. Can you tell me there's nothing out there? There's nothing out there, but go by faith. Yes. Yes. I'll come to pass. Yes. Here Paul, he said, I press forward. Yes. I press for the hard calling. Nothing will ever stop me. Yes. I'm going to win the prize. He pressed on to win the prize. Yes. He went on to win the prize. I just like to read one more scripture from First Corinthians, First Hebrews. That's gonna be the last. Hebrew twelve. Yes. <clears throat> Hebrew 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every way and the sin which so easily yes. ensnared us, and let us run with the endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him yeah. endured the cross, yes. despised the shame, and has sat down at the right hands of the yes. throne of God. Yeah. He sat down. He sat down. When he went upon the cross, he yes. said, it is finished. Yes, he did. So whose job is, whose job is it today? Amen. We're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We need to re represent Jesus. Yes. There are some people that will never come to a tent meeting. There will be people that will never come to a church. There will be people yes. that will never hear the word of God. They're way out there. We will represent Jesus to them. Yes. We're going to take Jesus to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to be the only Jesus that they may see in their lives. Yes. They may be saved yes. before they die, before something happens to them. That's why we are called to live the life. Yes. They are not in line with Christ Jesus. Jesus. That they may only see the example of our life, that they will be drawn to the house of the Lord. Forget the past. Forget what is hindering you. It may be unforgiveness, unbelief. It may be doubt. It may be something that you're ashamed of, that you don't want to reveal, reveal it. Give it to Jesus. Let's all come to the altar this afternoon. Yes. Let's all come.